Where do you feel like on the spectrum you can be of, you're either watching a tree slowly die or you have a tree that is thriving and growing? Yeah, so I think you'd like to get help to the tree as soon as possible. This is the time, so we use the analogy of starting a car. So the tree has a battery, right, of nutrients, water, cambium life, all these things, right? And in the spring, it hits the starter and leafs out or doesn't, typically. Mm -hmm. There's lots you can do for a tree that's in decent shape. If it's not going to leaf out, it's probably not going to leaf out. There's not a lot that you can really, I mean, you can try lots of things, and it depends, right? So you're in a forest, and it's, gosh, this tree's going to leaf out, but this one isn't, and you have hundreds of trees to deal with. Are you going to spend the money on this one particular tree to try and get it to go, or would you rather spend your money on all these other trees? Mm -hmm. If it's in your front yard, and this is your only tree, and you've already invested all this time and energy in it, would you deep water it, give it nutrients, direct trunk inject? Would you do all these things to it? Yeah, probably. And so that's where trying to figure out, is it alive, is it not? But honestly, you'd like to, you would have liked to have been doing that in the fall, mm -hmm. and really going, gosh, this thing's, kind of looking rough, what can we do for it in the fall to help it in the spring? Because if it's already in a water deficit in the fall, it may not make it through the spring. And whatever you do in the spring isn't necessarily gonna help it after it doesn't leaf out. That's low probability, whereas you're watching it, it's struggling in the fall, and you water it, mulch it, loosen the, I mean, there's all these things, that's likely bang for your buck to be way more effective. Mm. Yeah, early prevention.